Today, we are upgrading the Creality Ender 3 V3KE with the KCM set to enable multicolor printing. First, we remove the stock print head. Let's unscrew the front cover, disconnect the fan cable, and take off the cover. Now, we remove the screws of the extruder motor. Next, we unscrew the print headboard and hotten. Disconnect the Houghton cables and take out the Houghton. We unplug the bed leveling sensor cable and move the print headboard aside. We'll need this board later. Now, we remove the metal bracket holding the stock print head by unscrewing it. To detach the belts, we loosen them, then remove the last screw and take out the metal bracket. We install the custom mounting part designed for the chroma head on the KE printer. First, we tighten the screws for the belt attachment part, place the belts, and secure the screws. We repeat this process on the other side. Now, we secure the mounting part onto the MGN rail by tightening the screws. Let's re-tighten the belts. Since the X-axis sensor is located on the print headboard, we need to attach it to the custom mounting part and reposition the board on the side of the machine. We remove the screws from the side. And install the mounting bracket before securing the screws. Now, we insert the square nuts into the mounting slots to install the chroma head. We remove the front cover of the chroma head and disconnect the fan cable. 
We secure the chroma head by tightening its screws. Now, we connect the print head cable and secure it with screws. Next, we reconnect the fan cable, close the front cover, and install the 8-in-1 module onto the print head. Let's remove the stock filament holder and filament sensor from the machine. We mount the extruder block holder, tighten its screws, and secure it to the printer using the pre-drilled mounting holes. If the printer's power cable is connected, we unplug it. Then, we connect the motor cables to the extruders. Next, we connect the motor cables to the KCM. Then, we connect the USB Type-C cable to the KCM. To install the PTFE tubes, we move the print head to its farthest position. Cut the PTFE tubes to the appropriate length and insert them into the 8-in-1 module. For the remaining two extruders, we move the print head to the farthest position again and connect their PTFE tubes. Now, we bundle the print head cable and PTFE tubes together. Let's plug in the printer's power cable and turn it on. Next, we connect the USB hub to the printer. We plug in the power cable for the KCM. Now, we open a browser and enter the printer's IP address, adding colon 4409 to access the main sale interface. In the machine section, we delete the printer.cfg file. Before deleting, you may back it up. Then, we upload the new configuration files, which can be downloaded from GitHub. Now, we open the kcm.cfg file, go to Devices, and before refreshing, we connect the KCM to the printer. After refreshing, we copy the new serial path and paste it into the Serial section. Then click Save and Restart. Next, we open the chroma.head.cfg file. Go to Devices, and before refreshing, we connect the chroma head cable first to the KCM and then to the printer. After refreshing, we copy the new serial path, paste it into the serial section, and click Save and Restart. Now, we can access the dashboard. Let's open Orca Slicer, load the model, enter the bed dimensions, scale the model, 
and apply colors. We enter the printer's IP address into Orca Slicer, set the color change ratio, slice the model, and send it to the printer. Now we start the print. This print took 10 hours and 3 minutes on the KCM equipped Ender 3 V3KE. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more models and upgrades.